Okay, this is a just a gentleman's discussion here, Tully. Well, you know, Tony, the last time I saw this guy, he was wanting to interfere in a situation in a bar room. But because of this legend status that you have, Conan, it is my pleasure to let you go first. So we're playing mind games right off the bat. See, I heard that you like to impose your will on people. You like to play mind games, but I won't be intimidated. Proud and powerful won't be intimidated. They've been stabbed, shot, kidnapped, strangled, and left for dead, and we're still here because that's how we're built. Let me tell you something. FTR tried to say that they had the same upbringing as proud and powerful. I know you guys are from North Carolina where the men are men and the sheep are scared, but let me explain something to you. It's not the same thing tipping over cows and getting into bar fights and barn fights and the vegan beef that you might have out there in the woods as trying to survive on the streets of New York City between racial profiling and you have gang members hunting you down every day and that men of color are incarcerated at five times the rate of their white brethren. Here's another thing. You're a mentor to FTR. I'm their father, okay? We have a bond, which is love. Wait one second. Let me finish. No, 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 I haven't had enough. You're about to hear a little bit more, all right? So when Santana so elaborately pontificated that he left he lost his biological dad, he was blind, and he met his untimely death. He called me, and he said, we need you. They needed that missing ingredient, like arroz con pollo, arroz con habichuela, me entiende? That's Spanish. You might want to learn Spanish, because in the future, you're going to have to communicate with your grandkids, all right? Wow. I know very much about Spanish. And I know very much about you because I've done some research on you. As great a star as you were, obviously, you don't know who you're dealing with. I got news for you. I, like this, my guys will be out here and you'll be flat. And that'll be it. That'll be all that Conan ever did. He made one time on AEW Dynamite. One time, one big entrance, and then it's over with because FTR will come down here and end the game. Well, let me just say one thing. When this is said and done, you'll be happy to know that Walmart is still hiring greeters. Also, remember one thing, proud and powerful, we're like scarecrows outstanding in our field, 51-50, Hasta la muerte y después. And since I knew you might try to do this, I got my boys waiting in the back. Come on out here. I'm always one step ahead. Wow, it's not often that you see somebody pull one over on Tully Blanchard. Pretty smart of uh, Conan to have his back up there. How do you trust anybody around here? Well, I'm going to tell you what. As you get these guys down here, I knew a little bit about you, and you need to take a look at the big screen. Oh. What is this? Santana. So now what do you say, big boy? Well, then. FTR, the ambush tactics of the pinnacle continue. Get out of there, Shivani. Let's go. Let's go. This is. Let's go. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, right right there, baby. Look out. Right no, there. No. Oh, oh, my God. 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 Boom. Boom. Now, what do you say, big boy? The spike pile driver delivered to Conan by FTR. First, Sammy Guevara attacked. Then Santana Ortiz, now Conan. Can you imagine the first time, the next time I should say, that FTR cross paths with uh, Santana and Ortiz? I don't know what it's gonna resemble. Unlikely a pro wrestling match though. <laughs>